How's it going Ding Dongs? Welcome back to Ding Dong Drift. In today's video we are finally starting the mold process for the sunroof to leak. Alright so here's all the materials that we'll be using for this project. So to prep the mold I'm going to be using uh, Freeco FMS which is the mold sealer and then I'm going to use the chemical release after that and then I'm going to do the Miracle Gloss release wax, a few coats of that. While I'm prepping the mold for like flanges and stuff I'll be using this stuff. And if you guys are wondering where I get all this stuff, I get it from Composite Envisions. They are a US distributor of all sorts of composite products, including resins, all this stuff. Literally everything you see here was purchased through Composite Envisions, including all of those fiberglass and carbon fiber weaves and everything. After that, I'll be using this. This will be basically like the gel coat or like the first layer of the mold. Then for the fiberglass, I'll be using the Composite Vision Thin Epoxy Resin. This stuff is great for wetting out all sorts of fibers, carbon fiber, fiberglass, everything. I'll be using fiberglass. And then for spots like, you know, the edges and the more complex areas, I will be using this epoxy tooling dough, which is literally meant for making molds. So it's like doughy epoxy. You'll see when I use it. Don't have a lot of the stuff, it's very expensive. Nelson Racing Design, check them out on Instagram. He told me about this process, so I'm really excited to try it because usually I used to just lay up fiberglass. You guys remember my, my hood mold? That was all fiberglass and it did not, did not turn out well. There were lots of gaps and stuff in all the little bendy parts. This stuff would work a lot better for that because you can just push it into the mold exactly where you need it. Moving on, different fiberglass weaves I'll be using. So this is a very thin one. I have some surfacing veil somewhere, I think. I'll be using this super thin fiberglass for the first layer and moving on to something thicker. And then finally, this super thick woven roving, they call it. Hopefully I have enough epoxy. This is all the epoxy I have left. It's not even a full gallon. So not a very large mold, so hopefully it'll be enough. For the hood, I use three gallons of polyester. So I'm done using polyester. I hate the stench. It literally fills the entire garage house, everything with the stench. So that's why I'm moving everything to epoxy because epoxy doesn't really smell like anything at all. It just has a tiny little scent. So that's why I'm using everything epoxy. So yeah, check out Composite Envisions in the description for all of your composite material needs. Let's get started on the mold. So in case you're new here, this is a 3D printed plug to delete the sunroof in my SC400. It is printed in 10 pieces on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, joined together with epoxy and little pegs. A bunch of epoxy on top, Bondo smoothed out, clear coated with 2K clear coat, sanded and polished. So that's where we're at now. This is the final result and I think it turned out pretty good. The first thing I'm gonna do is just clean it. Make sure, cause it's been sitting in my garage for a little bit. So I just wanna degrease it, make sure it's nice and clean so we don't have any issues with um, contaminating the mold or anything. So the entire plug is prepped. It is now ready to be made into a mold. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab this cardboard and grab this hot glue gun and I'm gonna make some flanges. So the first side I'm gonna do is this side. So I'm gonna put flanges on the bottom of this. It should be pretty easy. Nice big flat one here and then a couple smaller flat ones on all of the legs and then some medium sized flat pieces right here. And then once the cardboard is all glued on, I'm going to put packing tape on it because if you put mold release on this or wax or whatever, nothing sticks to it. Nothing sticks to it even if you don't put mold release on it. This stuff is pretty, pretty good for mold making. All right, it is the next day. Last night I finished masking off or taping off the entire mold flange. And today I'm going to be using this clay called Le Botouche. I'm French. Why do you think I have this outrageous accent, you silly king? And uh, this stuff's great because nothing sticks to it. And it's easy to work with if it's warm. So make sure it's warm. I had this sitting on my 
printer like on top of the glass so that it's nice and warm because the printer's been printing all night. Yeah, this stuff is way easier to work with when it's warm. It's warm today outside too, so that will help. So what I'm gonna use that for, fill in these little gaps because we don't want um, the gel coat to be going inside of these gaps. We're gonna make a nice little flange, same thing with the hole. I'm gonna mostly fill it in and then it's gonna be onto the gel coat, which is uh, very exciting. So let's get started on this. go flange is ready for the mold or mold making process I guess I should say so basically the whole point of the stuff is just to create a nice draft angle so we don't have any overhangs no gaps nothing this just fills everything and you see it. put it in the holes filled all this in because this used to be a huge gap here it's just to fill the gap and for this I only used like a little bit of it but for the hood still some stuff stuck in there see it right there that's all the clay in those holes in the gaps so for the hood I used an entire brick this whole freaking thing it's like two and a half pounds I think I used the whole thing for the hood so if you're making something big like that expect to use a lot of it There we go. Nice, thick, not too thick, but thick layer all the way to the edge of the flange. Unlike last time on the hood where it didn't go far enough, you saw I had to mix up a second batch. So it turned out to be around 700 grams or maybe 800. I did uh, 580 grams on the first batch, which covered most of it. But then the flanges needed another 180. So I'm gonna say 800, wanna do the underside because there's more um, surface area with all the undulations and ribs and stuff. I'm gonna do 800 grams. That should cover the entire mold surface. This brings me to the point of why I'm using epoxy. There's no smell. Like I am in here in the garage with this thing. I just blasted it with a torch to get any bubbles out and I can't smell anything. Freaking amazing. Like if this was polyester, I'd have to leave the freaking house. Like you. It's insane how much polyester uh, resin stinks. That's why I have two gallons right there and I'm not using it because that stuff is horrible. I'll probably just like make a little mold outside somewhere because that stuff is atrocious. It's literally horrible and it's horrible for you. It gives you brain damage. So epoxy, this is why I used it. As for this stuff, it's a little thick for my taste. It's actually really, really thick. I don't know if you saw it. It's basically like a hot tar. Like if you ever played with tar in the road when you're a kid, that's what this stuff is like. It's really thick. And I was using a wide brush like this. For the underside, I'm gonna cut the bristles even shorter so they're stiffer. Because they're already pretty stiff because they're short bristles and wide, but I need it even stiffer because this stuff is hard to spread. So this stuff now needs to cure for a little bit. I forget what the cure time is. I need to look on the data sheet. It does not say it here. So I need to look on the data sheet. It just needs to get tacky. And then I can start laying up the fiberglass. So while this is curing, I'm gonna start cutting the fiberglass so that I'm uh, all ready for it and I don't have to rush. So I'm gonna cut all the pieces of fiberglass that I need. So I did about three layers. Some places have more, some places have less. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, obviously we'll find out tomorrow once this cures. Epoxy that I'm using cures very quickly, but the base coat cures for 24 hours. So 
I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to flip this over and pull the cardboard off the flange so then we can do the other sides. All right, it's the next day. I think everything's cured. So let's try to peel off flange material and see if it worked. This is scary. By the way, in case you didn't know, alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, breaks the bond on hot glue. So if you just spray this on some hot glue, it'll peel right off of anything it's stuck on, except like cardboard, because you know, it like embeds itself into cardboard. Look at that, just peels right off. Throw it in a time lapse, let's go. has happened since I removed the cardboard. I have the whole mold prepped, it's all waxed. However, if you look closely, you can see something happen here. So when I did the rubbing alcohol to release the hot glue, a bunch of it dripped and stayed on the plug and it actually ruined the clear coat in quite a few spots. So if you're gonna use rubbing alcohol, make sure you clean it up instantly. Don't let it sit on clear coat because um, yeah, I'm gonna have to sand that out of the mold and hopefully this doesn't stick because this is primer and this is clear coat. So hopefully that doesn't stick too bad. Also, the flange. I added a little more fiberglass here, a little more fiberglass here because this flange was very flimsy. And then also I've been filling in little undercuts with the putty so that the two mold halves don't um, get stuck together. I also picked out all of the wax from the edge here. It is now time to do the underside. I'm not gonna film this, it's the exact same process. I am however gonna film once I start using the putty. I'm gonna do the whole fiberglass layup and then once I get to these parts, fiberglass will not lay in here nicely. I'm going to use the putty. All right, it is finally time for the exciting part, tooling dough. So like I said before, Nelson Racing Design, check him out on Instagram. He told me to use this. And the cool thing about it is you don't need any fiberglass. You just mix this stuff up. One to one ratio, super easy to mix. You just mix it up in your hand and the more you mix it, the more, the more it loses viscosity. So if you need it to be really thin or like really flowy, you just mix it more. If you don't need it to be flowy, you mix it less. Uh, form it into like quarter inch to half inch sheets and you just lay it in your mold. It dries at a low temperature so it doesn't melt your plug if you're using a 3D printed plug, which is the thing that happens. If you use a lot of fiberglass, you got a lot of epoxy layers, it can melt your plug. So this stuff is cool. It's not cheap though. This gallon was like hundred something dollars. I don't know actually how much it will cover, so we will see. I'm gonna go for probably a third inch, quarter inch, third inch maybe, we'll see. So this is almost ready. See, it's still leaving a little bit on my hand. Just gonna let it tack up a little more, throw it on the time lapse, and we'll see how this goes, see how much I can cover with the tooling putty. Alrighty boys, the mold is done, cured overnight. This is like as hard as cement, it's insane. So now it's time to cut off the excess so we have a nice clean edge on the flange, get it sanded down a little bit, and then we'll try to separate all of it. So when cutting fiberglass or any sort of composites, any sort of fiber, you don't wanna use a serrated blade. The serrations actually crack the, the material. So you wanna use something like a diamond blade, like a rotary or angle grinder. That's, I'm gonna be using my Bad Dog Tools HD2 blade, stainless diamond coated. So that stuff cuts through everything and be very messy. That's why I'm in full gear. So let's get started. I guess the cicadas like the noise of the angle grinder because I'm freaking covered in them. What the hell is going on, dude? Freaking all over me. I 
I love this blade. You can literally cut anything with it. Steel, stone, fiberglass. If you want to get one, link in description, 20% off. All right, this is all trimmed up. I'm gonna let it sit in the sun for just a little bit, just to give it a little bake. Hopefully it separates. Gotta find the edge between the two layers and then try to separate them. Time to get this bitch apart. Let's get started, I guess. Okay, moment of truth. I'll let you guys see it first. How does it look? Oh no. All the primer came off with it. But, uh, overall, it looks decent. There's a big crack down the middle. I'm gonna have to get this primer off. I don't know how. Oh, it looks like it peels off. It's just gonna, it's just gonna take a little while. But yeah, my biggest, concern is this big crack right here. That's a big oof. Uh, hopefully I can fix that somehow. That's the problem. I had this flange. It's way too sharp. That's why this happened. But hey, overall, it's not too bad. The gel coat crack right here looks okay so far. Now let's hope I can get this out. That is not going to be fun to get that out. I'm just going to send it. I don't care at this point. Miraculously, the mold is a success. I did break one little part of it right here, but I can fix that. But yeah, as you can see, I don't know, I did something wrong with the primer and it all peeled off. So this is gonna be another project, cleaning up this mold and prepping it. So that's gonna be another video. Yeah, the plug didn't survive. This side actually turned out better if you don't count the giant crack. That's why I got stuck so bad. Look how sharp that angle is. That is not what you want. Should have made these um, angles much shallower. So that is gonna be it for this one, Ding Dongs. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and consider becoming a member so you can see this content early as well as exclusive content and other perks. So next video, which will be in a while because I'm actually going to Italy tomorrow. I don't know if I'll get this video edited out or not, but it's gonna be a little bit of a gap between videos because I'll be in Italy. Next video will be mold cleanup and then we're gonna do the carbon fiber vacuum infusion. So hopefully that will uh, go well. So make sure you subscribe and you don't miss that. That's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, ding dong, stay sweet, and I'll see you guys next week. America, America, America. Do you have your passport?